Hello, hello, lads and girls. This is Lord Kicker, and welcome back to another episode of PC Building Simulator 2. All right, let's see. We still have a few jobs. So let's see. Accepted ones. Should we do overclocking? That sounds like fun. Overclock CPU to at least 4275. For this job, we need to overclock the customer PC, which means making the CPU run faster than its stock frequency. Connect the cables to the PC and select the monitor to get started. Okay, well, I kind of done this before though, but sure. By all means. Overclock the CPU is performed in the PC's operating system or BIOS. To access the BIOS, you need to hit the F2 or delete key as it boots up. If you don't press one of these keys in time, then the PC will boot US as normal. And you'll need to restart the PC. Try again. Press P to power up the PC. Alright, so pretty much the normal. Let's hold the F2. This is where your This is where you can see the PC's hardware settings. And uh, tweak them to add more power. For this job, we're going to overclock the CPU. So, let's select the CPU OC tab. This menu allows you to overclock the CPU by increasing the base clock and the ratio. The voltage setting is used to stabilize the PC, but you need to be careful not to use too much or you could damage the CPU. Uh, the CPU speeds shows how fast the CPU runs and it's a function of the base clock timer times the ratio. So um, here it's 100 times 40, which gives us 4000 megahertz. You can tweak either value to change the overall frequency, but normally you use the ratio for big changes and the base clock for smaller ones. Increase the CPU core ratio to times 44. This increased the CPU speed to 4400 megahertz. Increase the CPU voltage to 1.35V. As the CPU runs faster, it requires more voltage to remain stable, but don't go too high. Well, this may damage the CPU. That looks good for a stable overclock. Click on the settings tab so we can apply the new values. Spirit name equal action. What? Uh... Okay. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, it's more like code, but sure. Um, the apply changes and restart option to, well, apply the changes and restart the PC. Note that if the PC can't boot because of the settings are too high, 
and the machine will blue screen and reset itself to default settings. Spirit name action. Yes to confirm. I think that might be a bug. I mean, this game kind of recently got out, so... Shouldn't be too surprised that there are a few bugs and bits here and there. Uh, double click to open the OCCT app. Note that normally you'll have to install OCCT yourself using the USB stick. Welcome to the OCCT app. OCCT can be used to stress test a CPU and GPU after overclocking to check stability. It can also show if a CPU is getting firmly throttled from running too hot. A CPU will not run efficiently if it gets too hot under load. To begin, spirit name equals action. Continue. Wait for the stress test to complete. Alright. Oh, it's really not getting hotter than that. A successful test. Congratulations, the CPU remain within its operating per operating parameters in the test. This means it has a stable overclock and can be returned to the customer. Overclocking CPUs complete. Take the PC back to the delivery area and collect a payment from the email. Overclocking is completed and uh, you can damage your hardware if uh, care is not taken with settings. We recommend you experiment uh, with overclocking in the game. See how far you can push the limits. I love that. Uh, remember to use OCCT to test their stability which you can download using the USB driver found in the tools section of the inventory. All right, sweet. All right. Here we go. Getting a little stuff done here and there. I love it. All right, let's collect. Uh, how do I download a software to my... USB stick though. Like, do I already have it or... I'm not sure. Okay, um, set all RGB lights to rainbow effect, set to walk mode. Uh, wow, this is different. So select all. 
kind of cool though. Rainbow. Walk. Make sure to take the PC back to the delivery area and collect your reward when you're ready. Lighting app can now be installed onto customer PC using the USB drive found in the tools section of the inventory. Okay, I'm guessing it is adding it to the USB drive as I'm completing. I suppose. Alright, so collect. Okay, cool. Whew, just one thing to do. Let's uh, give your business a new name. Go back to the hallway and left click on the business name panel. Oh. Huh? Enter the name for your business here. And the click apply when you're done. Oh, so I won't need to pay this time. Wow, that is great. Well, I am no idea what I want to call this place. Like for real. Guess I'm just going generic and go with Kicker so, PC Shop. Pretty simple, but I mean, I don't know. G give me some, uh, give me some good names. All right, give me some names. <laughs> Let me hear your best ones. Looks like. You're now the proud manager of Kicker's PC Shop. Don't worry, if you change your mind, you can rename your business at any time. That's everything for today. So, go to the door in the hallway to continue. What? Shouldn't I, like, finish up the last PC? Oh wait, that's the one that I haven't gotten yet. All right, all right, all right. Now, now you're making sense. Yeah, in transit. But I mean, I have. Uh Okay, that one is already done. That one too. That one is in transit. Hey, if you're reading this, you got the old PC of mine up and running. I knew you could do it. So, now you got a new workshop. And a computer, which means you're officially open for business. The only problem is money. Specifically, we don't have any. I'm sure we can make do for now, but if you really need cash, the bank might be able to set you up with a loan. Just don't push it, okay? They're already asking me awkward questions about what happened to the old workshop. I'm taking a trip abroad. Might be in order. Good luck, Uncle Tim. P.S. I posted you another little gift. Something to help organize things. It should arrive tomorrow, so keep an eye out. Okay. Um, bits and pieces. <laughs> Okay, cool. 
Yes, I guess we got nothing new here. So, bits and pieces, is that like a uh, PC bay? I don't want to see what this is. <laughs> oh, this is like worms. Or, no, what's it called? Snake. Man, I used to play that a lot as a kid. Man, this is something I could get distracted by. Okay, um, stop. I shouldn't be doing that. I should not be doing that. Uh, that wasn't even the thing I wanted to look at. Document reader, typo, cello. There's a lot of programs now, though. Data mine. Can I like mine bitcoins? Part of me kind of want to check that out. Oh, guys, what the? <laughs> Strike back, go. Power monitor, Cinebench R20. User error. Access denied. Employees only. Okay. Uh. Yeah, well. I guess I'll just end off the day. All in a day's work. Here you can end off the day and advance to tomorrow. You don't need to buy any new parts yet. But in the future, you may need to check that you have ordered everything you need before going home. You can look at the calendar at any time to keep track of all your jobs, deliveries, deadlines and bills. Yeah, kind of like in the last game. Alright, let's end off the day. Good morning! Hope you slept well. We have a busy day ahead. You accepted a job yesterday and the customer's PC has arrived. It's n it needs to be painted red. So take it to your workbench and let's get spraying. Awesome. But I think we're gonna do that in the next episode. I do hope you enjoyed this one. I hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, bye bye!